Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah Sisi stressed that Egypt pays special attention to the development of the education and scientific education sectors within all their phases, as well as the development of the medical sector through the partnerships with international institutions, including British ones. This came during President Assisi's meeting with President of the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons, Professor Jackie Taylor. During the meeting, the President praised the cooperation protocol with the Royal College as one of the most important bilateral cooperation projects between the two countries, which opens the horizons to boosting cooperation by spreading the experiment to include all British universities and research institutions. This cooperation would allow the establishment of a headquarters for the college in Cairo, as well as physicians in accordance to training capacity with the highest international standards and increased scholarships presented to Egyptian students. Earlier, President Abdel Fattah Sisi stressed Egypt's support to the British Presidency of the Climate Summit and its confidence that the summit would come up with tangible and balanced results that would be in favor of all parties. President Sisi also highlighted Egypt's keenness to host the 27th round of the party's conference in 2022 after the end of the British Presidency. This came during President Sisi's meeting with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on the sidelines of the Glasgow Climate Summit. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassem Rodi said the meeting witnessed bilateral talks as the British Premier welcomed the visit of the President and expressed his appreciation to the strong ties binding Egypt and Britain. Rodi added Johnson stressed that Egypt is considered the most important partner for Britain in the Middle East and expressed his hopes to enhance those ties in several fields. He also noted that Johnson expressed his admiration of the achievements and development efforts Egypt is carrying out and stress Britain's support to those efforts under the leadership of President Issisi. President Abdel Fattah Issisi addressed on Monday the UN Climate Summit COP26 in Glasgow. In his speech before the attendees, President Issisi reiterated that Egypt has taken several firm measures to improve the environment and climate conditions. He highlighted the importance of the international support to the developing countries to commit to preserving climate pointing out that Egypt issued its first green bonds for improving the environment in this regard. The head of state called on the industrialized countries to abide by their pledges in accordance with the terms of the 2015 Paris Climate Accord. He also expressed Egypt's keenness to host the upcoming session of the Climate Change Summit. The president's participation comes upon an invitation from the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and in light of Egypt's leading role on the regional and international climate discourses. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi highlighted the firm Egyptian stance regarding the issue of the Ethiopian Dam and its vision, which is based on engagement in serious negotiations that aim at reaching a legally binding agreement on the filling and operation of the dam under the umbrella of the African Union, which agrees with the presidential statement that was issued by the UN Security Council. President Sisi also praised the efforts exerted by the Democratic Republic of Congo during its presidency of the African Union to achieve the aspirations of the African continent and its stance before the international arenas as well as its efforts to settle the Ethiopian dam issue. This came during President Sisi's meeting on Monday with the DRC President Felix Chisekedi on the sidelines of the Climate Summit in Glasgow. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Rodi said the two African leaders expressed their satisfaction with the distinguished level reached by the bilateral relations, whether on the political coordination and consultation or on the economic cooperation, which has recently witnessed an unprecedented boom in the history of ties. He also said that President Chisekedi thanked President Sisi for its continued efforts to support his country in this critical phase of history, which is represented as a model of cooperation and coordination as well as mutual support between African countries. On the sidelines of the Glasgow summit, President Abdel Fattah Sisi on Monday held a number of meetings with different world leaders. President Sisi met with the Romanian President Klaus Ayanis. He also met with the Qatari Prince Tamim Ibn Hamad Tani. And on the sidelines of the summit, he also met with the Netherlands Prime Minister 
Mark Root. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Radi said during the meeting, Root expressed his appreciation to the Egyptian efforts to reach political solutions to the different regional crises, which has helped in regaining stability and security to the countries in the region. He also added the meeting tackled means of boosting bilateral ties in all fields, notably the fields of trade exchange, tourism and illegal immigration, as well as the current cooperation in the field of water management. Meeting also witnessed tackling the recent developments of a number of regional files and issues of mutual concern. Also on Monday, President Sisi met with German Chancellor Angela Merkel and he also met with the Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Shtaye. President Abdel Fattah Sisi stressed that bringing settlements to regional crises can only be achieved by enforcing stability, restoring national state sovereignty, supporting national institutions and boosting the ability of national armies and central governments. The president added this would help in ending the activities of terrorist groups and extremist organizations. The statements of the head of state came during his meeting at his residence in Glasgow with the Austrian Chancellor Alexander Schallenberg. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Radi said the president congratulated the Austrian Chancellor for assuming his new post. He stressed that President Sisi stressed Egypt's keenness on boosting bilateral cooperation with Austria in different fields, notably in trade, economy and tourism, within the framework of the historic ties between the two countries. Also on Monday, President Sisi met with the Libyan Prime Minister Abdel Hamid Tabeba and the Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Makati, the Kuwaiti Prime Minister Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Sabah and President of Armenia Armin Sarkisyan. <clears throat> More than 100 global leaders late Monday pledged to halt and reverse deforestation and land degradation by the end of the decade, underpinned by 19 billion US dollars in private and public funds to invest in protecting and restoring forests. We have more details in this report. More than 100 countries were set to pledge Tuesday to end deforestation, which scientists say is a major driver for climate change. Britain hailed the commitment as the first big achievement of the UN Climate Conference in Glasgow. But campaigners say they need to see the details, for such promises have been made and broken before. The UK government said it has received commitments from leaders representing more than 85% of the world's forests to halt and reverse deforestation by 2030. More than $19 billion in public and private funds have been pledged toward the plan, which is backed by countries including Brazil, China, Colombia, Congo, Indonesia, Russia and the United States. Forests are considered important ecosystems and an important way of absorbing carbon dioxide, the main greenhouse gas from the atmosphere. But the value of wood as a commodity and the growing demand for agricultural and pastoral land are leading to widespread and often illegal felling of forests, particularly in developing countries. Campaign group Human Rights Watch cautioned that similar agreements in the past have failed to be effective. Environmental researchers said strengthening indigenous people's rights would help prevent deforestation and should be part of the agreement. The said world leaders promised in 2014 to end deforestation by 2030, but since then deforestation has accelerated across many countries. Back home, the Ministry of Health reported 950 new coronavirus cases and 16 new deaths. The ministry's daily statement said the number of recoveries has surpassed 279,179 people. Meanwhile, Romania reported record numbers.